What is going on, everybody? McLean Speech Out World Champion coming at you, and we're here with Shanks, another little different concept that I've been just messing around with. And as we're waiting for all the red haired pirates to get added, figured just, you know, try different playstyle concepts. And this one is kind of the same idea, but a little bit more control based. As uh, you can see, we're centered around, like, we got the fire fist in here, and then a little bit more, like, defense stuff with the rad beams and the bad manners here. But before I jump into the breakdown, we're going to keep the, the, the giveaway going for any videos that I post over these next couple weeks. So we'll end it like September 6th, right before uh, all the new stuff. So if you comment at all at any of my videos from the first Shanks video all the way up until then, you'll be entered for the, the Sabos that uh, you're currently seeing. So any kind of comment, again, you don't have to do anything in depth. You can literally just say yo and uh, go from, I'll just put it all in a randomizer off in like the comments page and we'll just pick from there but uh yeah thank you guys so much for all the support and everything it's been awesome and yeah i'm loving shanks shanks is so much fun and going into the kind of the concept here overall with like playing around in the current stuff i think it depends on the meta like what it ends up being but i don't really think you need roger but roger's just a really fun card i think it just running four stack of uh the the 10 cost shanks here the new one is more than enough like uh, for everything because once you drop this card you really kind of shift the the game in a lot of circumstances but yeah i like uh this current setup again it's for me being able to just put immediate pressure with zoro and shiraya is still my go-to it's been very very effective and then yeah outside of that the yas or ace very strong to follow it up with and then i've got a couple kidney killers in here just for fun for closing out the end games because again if you're aggressive up front especially against the the four life leaders it is very very easy to get a kidney killer into range but i just still like the three costs going first it's just been a little bit more helpful but yeah shanks is awesome i'm having so much fun again once the red haired pirates get fully added we'll definitely do a more red haired build but overall, having just, I'm just having a blast. I love Shanks' leader ability. It's so much fun. It, you can, especially once everything's get figured out, it'll be so cool because then you can pretty much kind of like predict and know what your opponent's like moves they're gonna be, and then that allows you to then use Shanks' leader ability to take those like chances and everything. Because again, if your opponent put like uses all their Don, just straight up their leader isn't attacking, or if they have a character on the field just not attacking, so it's just a free block. And that is just so massive, especially in this game. The more cards you are able to then keep in your hand, the better chances, especially end game when your opponent has to go for it. And then if you're, again, just stacked up with like your 2Ks or if you do run any counters and stuff like that, it just makes it so much easier. Because again, we, Shanks is extending the game. Just leader ability alone, you are going to be dropping like comfortably any of your big characters and potentially just back to back too. And then you'll still have like so much more room and it's not as risky as I feel like with other leaders when you drop like your 10 costs you're like open to then potentially just getting like losing the board control or potentially losing the game but with Shanks you're able to just like do so much and it's awesome I'm having a great time but yeah let's jump into some games and see how things go with a little bit more control style all right we got some Luffy action I have kid and killer so I'm gonna keep this because I can do my my game plan here and we'll see what they do though. So they have three, they're dropping Zoro. Get two back, nothing I do about that. All right, so we get that there already. And so we'll attack them back here, five on five. See what they do out of this. All right, and then we'll drop Kid and Killer. Attack them again, five on five. Get a card back, because no shot they'd, yeah, do take two there, because that would've been crazy. So, okay, got back to back Zoros. Crazy. That's actually nuts. <laughs> so, seven there, use a card action. We'll just minus this down. I can't do anything about that. And then seven on five. Okay, so we get Ben Beckman, which is all right. So I'm at six. Hmm. Not a whole lot I can do here, except for attack them a couple times. 
All right, I'll put two on here. We'll attack them seven on five. So they take that, okay. And then we'll just do the same thing again then. We'll attack them again five on five. So they're blocked that, all right. But yeah, they're at the full 10 or nine. That's crazy. That, because it lets you one or more Don card. So you can just drop this. That's actually nuts. So yeah, use the card action. Minus this down, no. And then we'll get rid of one Rayleigh here to do that. So at least I'm at nine. They're dropping this Luffy. All right, well, not much I can do out of that. So no. Um, I guess we'll just do that. And then this on there, okay. So I'm at eight. I could drop Rayleigh. We can drop this down, and then I pop this, probably. Or I could just drop a Beckman, delete this as well. Keep one for a rad beam, potentially. Okay, well, let's attack them five on five and just see what they do here. So they take the one, okay. So if I drop this down to seven with uh, Rayleigh, all right, so we drop this, do that, get rid of that. Okay, so this is at seven. We mess around with stuff there, and then I have a little 2K, so we got a little bit of counter. I do have Shariah, I may need to play next turn though. So we'll kind of see what uh, they do here. We do have Yasop though, so we could also boost myself. Do a little combo, but yeah, we'll see. I don't have any heavy hitters here, so we'll do this, minus this down. Fine, taking that one. So we get another Shariya. Okay, they're playing, playing Luffy. Okay, well, we still have to worry about uh, this here. So we can do, we'll block one. And then, yeah, they get to go again. And well, yeah, we'll just kind of play around the stuff here. Obviously I gotta take the hit on this, but we may be able to block this. It'll be close. So they're playing Frankie. So dropping two, draw two. All right. Hmm. It'll be close. Because I do have Shirai to play. I can pop this with both of those there as well. Um. I mean, no. We just don't do that. And then we can just block that there. I can't really do anything with this here, so we'll just do that. Um, all right, well, that worked out. So, all right, what do I want to do here? So I have one. Hmm, I kind of plan on to play, yeah, Yasop, Shariya. I think that's kind of our play. So that's eight, nine, that only leaves me with one. All right, well, let me put one on here. We'll attack them six on five, see what they do. Oh, I could have attacked them seven on five. I'm dumb. I'm, <laughs> why did I just mess that up? Okay, well, that was dumb of me. But we'll do that. All right, I'll attack them eight. So we get them down one there. Okay, and then we'll drop Shariya. All right, we'll see what happens. We do have the rad beam. I'm at six here, so we can drop this down. Even if I do play like Sanji or something to rest this. But obviously a big goof out of me with uh, I don't know why I didn't play this first attack of seven. We would've got rid of two cards. So, may cost us, but we'll see what happens. So they're gonna rest Shariah with Sanji. Alrighty. And uh, yeah, leaves them here. I'm here. Oh, okay. So never mind. They're just doing that. So I'm at six. So they can't attack here. Um. Minus this down. Where's it at? There. So I can't really do anything here. So no. Then we do that. And then was that twelve? Okay. So no. Do that and that. All right, there we go. They're out of here. <laughs> so, 
pulling that one off. Obviously, I feel like just with the, the surprise, I didn't kind of go for the game. But again, we buffed ourselves. Misplay, big, a huge misplay out of me because we would have got rid of two of their cards. And but based on this, we would have won, yeah, regardless. So there we go. It looks like, I don't know, Luffy is pretty, pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. This deck looks great, especially again, you get to ramp so fast. That's like crazy how, uh, how it works. It's absolutely nuts. All right, we got some Nico Robin here. Uh, we got a uh, early, we got the Shariah, and then we got Ace, so we can kind of go back to back with some things there, which is kind of nice. Obviously, Nico Robin, pretty tough, because uh, Banish, the first uh, leader get with the Banish ability, which is pretty cool. So, all right, they're dropping the Search Law. We'll see what they grab here. So, oh, okay, interesting. They have this, so they're ramping for that. Okay. So, let's attack them. Here, five on five, see what they do. And then obviously with them being yellow and based around like uh, having, yeah, triggers and stuff. But we have Shariah here, which, so we can block anything if they do anything more than five. That's why I like Shariah, because we can just block there. And yeah, not have to worry about uh, like anything at all, really. So, use the card action, we'll minus this down. We'll block here, and then we'll do this to keep Shariah in. And then minus this down, because if they were gonna use these three and throw it on to Law here, now they can't, so we're, we're big chilling. We're making the big brain moves in this one, off the rip here. And so, this is their one there. So, all right, they're dropping the Saul. Okay, so it's just a blocker. Okay. So that gives me the five here. I could play this. We could blow up both of these for three. Hmm. Or I could drop ace and then we save this for next turn potentially. But all right, let me attack them five on five and we'll just see what they do. Kind of depends on if they get a character here or not. Okay, they did not, so chill in there. Let's just drop Ace then, and then we'll call it good here. Because, again, they haven't hit any crazy ramp. All right, so they drop the, the Nika Robin here. Okay, well, and they're playing Law. So free block for us here, which is cool. And, yeah, now next turn we'll blow up the, the field and everything. So one attacking trash, and then I guess we'll see if they ramp here. So they are, we can just do that. The free block there, and then they'd have to swing here with their blocker, they decide not to. And okay, so I can minus this down, we could blow out both of these with a this, this, and this. And then that leaves me just a, a bunch of other stuff and we can kind of pressure them heavy here. And then hold on to this for Shariah. That's probably our, our best move. And so, yeah, with seven, he's gonna drop this down. So we'll drop this here, and then we'll do um, this in here. We'll, so we'll get rid of both of those there. Leaves me with three. So I could do a seven. Yeah, let's just throw, do a seven on five. So they only have this stuff, so we'll just see what they get. They get the Wimpy Hoshi, see what they trash here, and then I'll attack them seven again here. So they got a banish in here and then the Frankie. All right, and so I'll put this on here as well. Attack him again, seven on five, get him down to one. We're still at four, I have Zoro as well. They get the Onami, a little bit tough, but what can you do, you know? So they're at 10. We'll see what they do here, if they have any of the refill stuff. I do have Zoro, so they're playing Nami. I mean, if they do that, again, Ace is chilling, so. We'll just do that. Ace is at 4k. And obviously if they only attack within range, I'll keep Ace on the board here. So, we can make some moves. Um, hmm. I kind of want to just do minus this down, force them to have to attack here. But I feel like they'd put the two on here, attack. But they have three, which they've shown blocker. 
So I could do this, force them into that, and then if they attack me, I have the 2k. But I may just like take this. So let's just do that and force them into committing to have to attack this again. So, okay. Now I'll make this play. And now we'll super force him. So now they can't play a blocker. So, all right. Fine with that. And we'll play around with stuff there. So I have nine. Um, I still have four. Don't really have to worry about too much here. So if I drop this for three. So we could do... All right, let me put two on here. We'll tack them seven. And we'll just kind of see what they do with uh, with this. So what was the... Okay, this doesn't have anything there. So, okay. So they do that. Which I'm kind of fine with. So they could still drop Zoro. Attack him again for seven. Then they would have to refill. Or I could drop Zoro. Do this. Leave one. Zoro will take a hit, then we go from there, and then I just have like two turns of needing to go from there. Or I could just take all this, put on Otama, and attack him here as well. Which I might do that instead. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We could put six, see if we got a, another 2k out. So yeah, let's just put this here. Let's attack him six on five, and let's see what they do. I'll leave one for Rad Beam, potentially. Because if they get the, like, rush ace or something, maybe. I don't know what, uh, I have no idea what I'll expect in here. So, doing a little 2k fishing is what we're doing here. Again, because then we get them out of cards in hand, we're big chilling. Because then they can't use their, because we know they have the, the big Luffy that lets them take another turn. So, this would have to be um, a 2k here. So that's why I'm doing that. Because if they play Luffy... So, okay. So there's that. I'm fine with that. Because again, if they play Luffy, which we know is their last card in hand, so they only can attack here and here. So two on zero there. I mean, that's fine. With the... Uh... And so we'll use card action. I'm just gonna minus this down now and put them in a weird spot because I'm fine if this hits me and but then we'll make it so leader can attack so okay fine with this as well with uh, their stuff here so they're putting the three on the five on so seven on five Okay, we get Rayleigh. Um, can't do anything about this. So Ace there. And then honestly, it doesn't really matter because we have Zoro. So, and then knowing what they have in hand. So I'll put the two on here. We'll attack them seven on five. See what uh, they have to take this. And then, as long as it's not like a blocker, we're gonna drop Zoro and then throw everything here. A little RP Law esque finish, you know, a little throwback flashback there, which is uh, pretty cool. But again, attacking first in case, yeah, Capone, potentially the last one there. Again, we knew they had this in hand, so good to play around the stuff there. But uh, yeah, bringing back the, the old days with the finishing with Zoro. <laughs> But, yeah, that uh, worked out for us and everything there. So, yeah, playing Nico Robin. Obviously, didn't have to deal with any of their, like, crazy big stuff. They uh, Interesting with this Luffy in here, though. So, but, uh, yeah, overall, you know, finding different ways to win is what I like about Shanks. Is you So far in most of the games I've been playing, Everything's like a little bit different, which is uh, pretty cool. You just have a bunch of different options. And again, you mostly just want to stall out. And the longer you can stall, when you can just drop back to back like big characters. Even though on this one we didn't really need to. We were just playing, again, Yellow Life Lottery there. So, worked out for us. 
All right, we got Lim. I've not played Lim. I have no idea what to expect. But we got a decent little mix of stuff here. So we'll kind of see what happens and what they got going on. So user card action, free block there. So they'll use this to summon a five cost. And ramp there, so they get Sabo here. Okay. Um. Well, what do I want to do then? Because we could could go Zoro, attack him at here, get him minus something down, and then attack him there. Three more rest of characters to play. Draw a card. Hmm. Or do I want to play Shiraya here? I think I might want to play Shiraya. So let's attack him six on six. Get something out. And okay, we'll drop uh, Shariah down and we'll do that and let's just see what they, they do here. So they're just attacking five. So use a card action, let's minus this down. Um, hmm, kind of need to sag this and something here. Actually, let's just take one. Okay, we'll see what uh, what we grab. So the 2k ace, all right, and then playing both of these, five. No, we'll block this here, and okay. So I get Zoro, so this is a blocker. I'm gonna put an attack once per turn set this character is active. So what if I attack this, what happens? That's what I would like to know. Okay, so I'm attacking at six and four. Now, uh, now it's time to f yeah. I want to see what what uh what would kind of happen there. So I could drop this. Um, this is at six. All right, so let's put one on here. Attack six. I just want to get cards out of their hand, and then I'll drop Zoro, and we'll attack six again. So I'll drop Zoro down, and then let's attack him six again. So, all right, kind of okay with that. Get rid of uh, some stuff there. Again, if I can hand starve them out and just sweep, we'll be chilling. We make some defense here. So use a card action. So this is at five, this is here. So let's drop this down. Then we'll go no, and then I'll use ace here. Cause next turn I can drop a uh, Rayleigh. So this is at four. This is at six. We could go here and here, potentially. Um, yeah, they can't attack here. So, no. Do that. But I think they just have to get it rested, yeah? So, for the ability. So, they're dropping... Okay, they're playing Kid? Interesting. So, no. I'll do this and this here. Keep that up. All right, well, I can drop Rayleigh minus this down to five, minus this down, and then pop this. So, do that, do this, get rid of that there. And then we'll just attack a five on five. All righty, attack five on five again. All right, and then, hmm. We'll just end our turn there. So I'll keep Shariah. We'll flex Shariah back. Back here. Um, use the card action. We can minus. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Let's just minus this down. And then I'm fine with that. Uh, I need a card from life here. So I need to refill the hand. So they're dropping Zoro. Okay. Well, I can drop this down, and then obviously with the stuff here, we can then attack. So this is at, what, eight? This is at five. So we'll attack 12 on eight. They'd have to get rid of everything in their hand. And yeah, they're they're out of here, they knew. <laughs> Cause uh, they would've had to get rid of all three cards, and then I still have Rayleigh to then still attack eight. So this would've been gone either way, and then yeah, we could have uh, gone from there, and they yeah they took off the the Shanks counter <laughs> gets us going. And oh, we had Roger next turn as well. I could have dropped Roger, 
That would have been crazy. That would have been a cool combo. All right, we got some Shanks v. Shanks action here. I'm going to Mulligan looking for our Zoro. All right, we get a Shariah and a Kid. So we're going second. They drop the, the Snake here, which I'm like kind of fine with. But uh, all right, we'll uh, do that there. And yeah, we'll see what they do uh, here. So they're just attacking eight. All right, no blocker. Fine taking that. So we're able to get that one there. Um. So I could attack here, drop kid and killer, attack him again. But they have this out. So I may just put one on attack and then drop Shariah. That might be our play instead. So we'll do this. Attack them six on five. We'll see what they do. And if they, I'm also kind of fine if we get a card from them here. So, all right, we get a uh, Rayleigh, which I'm fine with. And all right, we'll drop Shariah down and we'll go from there and see what they get going. So next turn we'll be at six. I do have Kid and Killer we can drop. And then just kind of one off from the, I guess we'd go Rayleigh over Beckman here. So they draw back in with Uda. All right. I guess we'll just kind of see what they do with uh, this here. Because obviously they attack. I got a free block with Shariah. And don't have to worry about too much there. So they're just attacking there. Um, no. I'll just do that. And then we'll do that. So Shariah with the block. And that leaves me at six. So how do I go about this? We could do, I could attack six. I could attack with everybody, honestly, with right here and then uh, see what we can kind of drop down. We know they have the 1K with Beckman. So, all right, let me put one on here. Let's attack them six on five again. Let's see what they do. So interesting, they take that. Um. All right, let's uh, drop Kid and Killer then. We'll put another one on here. We'll attack him again, six on five. Try to get a card back. And then we'll see what they do. So with them doing that, and then uh, they haven't used leader ability, so we'll just keep Shariah up. And do that there. So all right, they drop the, the Ben Beckman. And obviously I can just use uh, leader ability to block anything here. And yeah, we're gonna answer back pretty much We'll do that, do that. Alrighty. And so we can do that there. And okay, so I'm at eight. I could drop Rayleigh. Obviously, we can stunt this down. Or I can use Otama to drop this down. And then we can bend Beckman them back to clear their Ben Beckman and then they'd have to use this <laughs> and then something. So we might get some Ben Beckman action here. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, all right, let me see what they do with this. Let's see what uh, leader ability. So they do, they decide to do it there. Okay. So I have Shariah. So we'll do this here and then that leaves me with seven. So I can do this and get rid of their Ben Beckman there. And where are they going to be at? They're going to be at 9. I'll be at 10 next turn. Okay. So we'll see what they can do here. Obviously, they have this out, so they could clear our Ben Beckman <laughs> right back. But I do have Otama and Rayleigh if, uh, if I need be. So they're dropping the Yasop. All right. Um... Hmm, so that leaves him with four. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with this hitting. So what do we get here? Okay. I was hoping for a character. I was going for like a 10 drop, but it is what it is. So use the... Um... No, no. I can't let this one hit. So we'll do this and... Hmm. Listen to this. So we'll just do that. All right. So that puts me here. I can clear this. 
they have the snake still as well. I might just drop this down and then attack with Otama. Because that will leave me with two. So then I can attack them. Obviously here. Just with the Beckman. So, alright. Let's lead with this and see what they do. Because Shirai can become the 6k. So we'll lead here. And play around that. So they do that there. They didn't use the leader, abil abil eh, leader ability. So, okay. I can pop this. Minus this down. So this, this, this. Zero on zero. Let's see what they do here. And then play around with stuff there. Okay. Interesting. So... They decide to do that. Okay. Well, I'll put two on leader then here. We'll attack them seven on six. So they do that. Um, I have the 2k and the 2k. Hmm. Okay. Let's attack them again six on six. Let's see what they do here. Because this is going to be at six. So that's why I did that. Because now Shariah is at six. This is obviously at zero. So they're just dropping shanks. Okay. Um, don't have to worry about that. This attacking zero on zero. So I can just do this here. And then I don't I don't really care about that, I'm gonna be honest. Because yeah, now this can't do can't attack with leader. So four on three, no. We'll just do that. All right, so I got both of those. We get Rayleigh again here. So I can drop Rayleigh, we can drop this down to nine. Then pop this, for sure. Guess I'll just attack them. And we'll kind of go from there. So actually, let's see what they do here, because I may audible Kid and Killer instead. But I still have three, so I'm not exactly sure. So they do that, interesting. And then don't use ability. So we'll drop this down minus this. We can pop that. Please me again with two. So we can put one here. Attack him here. So they draw a card there. Um, I'll leave the one up. Because they're going to use, what is this, that nine? So if they only attack nine on seven, we could make a play with this and this. Hmm. Or do I just want to attack him here? I would probably keep this up so I can sack there and then play around with the, the stuff there. Okay. We'll just kind of see what uh what happens. Because potentially... Okay, they dropped the big shanks. Alright. So, 12 on 6. Uh, use the card action on this. And then... We'll just do that. And then nine on five. Okay, we get Shanks back. <laughs> so this is at seven. So I drop this down. Both to one. They would have to counter out. Or do I attack them? So seven, attack here. Okay, let's just see what they do with this. Because I have two. So I have this, this. We have Shariah. Shariah. So they take the one there. Interesting. Because I could drop Yasop here. Boost myself up. And then we have Kid and Killer as well. So boost myself up to six. Put another one here. We'll attack him seven on five. Okay. And then with the four left, let's drop Kid and Killer then. And we'll attack him six on five. Obviously, I assume they can block out of this. But, okay. Well, we have two. I have Shariah if they can't get rid of this. I think we're good. Unless they have blockers to put up. But they'd have to put up a, a good bit because we also still have our Shanks. So, all right, never mind. They're dropping Ben Beckman. Okay. Um. Use a card action. 
I'll just minus this down. No. And then we can block that there. And even with both of these, we're kind of chilling. Because it doesn't really matter. Oh, all right. They took off. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There's the, the shanks v shanks. Us coming out on top. Make a little tactics there. And yeah, uh, big can do a little breakdown but yeah love shanks went in the mirror even with them dropping the big stuff again just being able to pick your spots is is huge and yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one all right we got some luffy action um because we'll keep this we have one of our threes and then we have a little combo here so we can play our own stuff there so they get that zoro already Fine with that. Nothing I do here. We can keep this up and kind of see what they do. So they play this, which is cool. So we can then do our combo here. So use the card action. We'll minus this down. No. We'll do this. Pop that and then block that. So there we go there. Pretty nice. And then we draw Zoro. So now I can do even more stuff here. So, all right, let's attack them five on five. We'll see what they do with this. All right, and then we'll drop uh, Zoro. I'll put one on here. Do a little 2K fishing. See what they do here. So, all right, we get Maria out. And then, yeah, now we can play around some stuff here. I do have the Otama for 2K to potentially block. So, we'll just see... So they do this, discard one, draw two, leaves them with three. If they attack this for eight, they get it. But if they, oh, okay, use a card action. Um, we'll just minus that down. The free block there. Okay, so they do that. No. Then we'll block with Shariah. So there we go there. That leaves me here. So I could do this and this and clear both of these for three. Then that leaves me with three to just pressure them kind of like crazy or do I want to play could play Rayleigh because they have this and then draw two trash one well it's two characters never mind they only have one so never mind I can't do this so I think this is probably our play so we'll do this get rid of both of those there I'll put one here. We'll attack them six on five. So they do that already. And then we'll put two on here, attack them seven on five. Get them down to two. And then, yeah, we'll just play around that. Obviously, if we lose Zoro here, kind of chill with that because he's done his job. All right, so never mind. They're playing Moria. Because, of course, this card, stinky card, and the worst card in the game. RP Law gets banned, but this card gets to stay. So, all right. But the good news is, them doing that, we keep uh, Zoro in. So use a card action, minus this down, no. Then we just do that, keep Zoro in the game here. So I'm only at eight. I don't really have a lot of options. I think I just blast them with, uh, we'll just attack them with two nines. So we'll attack them nine on five. So they do that already. And then I'll put this on here. We'll tack them nine on five again. So they do that. All right. So we get them down to one, which is pretty cool. And I'm still at five. So obviously we can get some cards back here on this turn, depending on what uh, they do here. We can play Roger next turn if we would like. And then just hold the two Ks pretty much. So... They're dropping Frankie to draw some more cards here, which is fine. And then the Sanji blocker as well. Um. Hmm. It doesn't really matter. So I can just drop uh, this down. Let's just do that. Because I'd rather just get some cards here. No. And then, yeah, we'll just play around this stuff here. Okay, so I get another Zoro. So I could play Roger. Just swing at them directly. See what they do. Or do I attack them here? And then go from there. Alright, let me do this. 
Obviously, I'm just gonna go block this. Oh, okay. So then we'll just drop Roger. Attack him 13 and 5. Definitely have to sack a blocker here. Because, <laughs> uh. Yeah, alright. So they do that. Roger's at 13. Again, I got the 2Ks here to play around. And then we can kind of set some stuff up next turn. As long as they don't just stack a bunch on Moria and attack him, we're kind of okay. Because I still have four. Four life. They're at one. Again, I can just keep wailing on them with uh, Roger here. Use card action or minus their leader down. If I'm taking that. So they're playing another Moria. Okay. So if you get to draw two cards, they're here. Obviously, I can block uh, that there. Um, hmm. Do I want to make a cot like a? No, we can just do that. All right, so we got that here. Now I think I just tee off on them pretty much because I could play this. We could play Yasop, boost myself up by one. So yeah, it's just the the sneaky Morias that are annoying. Because I could just attack this as well. They have ten cards in hand. I have all these. I could play this and this and boost myself to seven. As well. Because I have three life. Um, You know what? Let's attack them directly and see what they do here. So they sack that. Okay. So we'll do this. Boost ourselves up to six for a turn. Then I think if I do this, boost myself up to seven. Unless I want to play Zoro. Like attack a six and then attack a seven. Hmm. Because they could, well, I mean, they can definitely block out. They're going crazy to keep one up. So do I get rid of cards in hand? This turn or boost myself up to seven? Because then I would take the two hits, probably get to block out of one here. Unless I have another Moria to keep uh, recycling Frankie, then it would be okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's just do that. Go seven on five. They can definitely... Yeah, do that there. Okay. So I'm at seven. Can mess around with some stuff here, potentially. But, yeah, we'll just kind of see what uh they do, I guess. But yeah, them getting the Morias, the bailouts, and of course they have another Frankie. Okay. <laughs> well, they're just getting all the cards here in the, the world. They've gotten, well, there's the, yeah, all their, I mean, at least we don't have to worry about Gear 5 Luffy, I guess. So they got that there. Um, So I drop this down one and block it. So use the card action, drop this down, no, do that. So we're kind of chilling there. Take the one. And then, yeah, they can't do anything there. So I get another Roger. So I could just attack both of these, honestly. Like right here, right now. Or do I just attack them? Clear out both of these? Hmm. Hmm. Because I could drop this Roger as well. Because they'd get rid of... So if I attack them directly, they kind of have to sack one. Hmm. All right, let me put one on here. We'll do this. Minus. I guess we'll minus this down. Let's so attack them seven on five. Again, they got a million cards in hand. So I think I'm going to go with the Zoro route here, and then we might keep uh, this in the pocket so I can pop... A blocker if they they keep one there so this is down to eight so if I attack him again I can just drop this down okay so we'll do this drop it down to seven so okay I'm fine with getting rid of all of those 
Um, what do I want to do here? So if I use three, okay. So three for Zoro, two there, that leaves me with three. So I gotta do a six. Okay, so we'll put one on here. We'll attack them six on five. See what they do here. All right, so they take that there, okay. Hmm, so this is at seven. Because so if I attack here, they're gonna sack this. I could play, we could play Rayleigh instead. Because they, uh, I get a draw two, discard one. Hmm, that could be the move. And then we hold on to, so I just attack this and get them sack this anyways. Okay, let's do that. Well, let's see what they do. So they sack that one. Alrighty, so I can drop this. Select a card to trash. Ooh, because now I have this. We have Shariah. Um, dang, what do I want to get rid of? Because if I want to get rid of because if i keep this here, I don't really need, I don't think I need Roger. So we'll trash Roger there. And that leaves him with that there. We have all of these and a blocker. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens, I guess. So they're dropping the Sanji. All right. Well, unfortunate for us there. Um, Use a card action. We'll minus them down. And... Okay. Fine with taking that one. So if they put everything on here, I can block out. They'd have to go for it. Well, they can attack here, so I can block this one. Okay, we'll just see what happens. See what they do, 11 on five. So no, we can do, this gets us to what, nine? Okay, we just pop uh, this, and then do this and this. Um, no, that, that. All right, well, there we go. <laughs> Obviously, they had to go for it there because then uh, with Roger on the field, with us being at zero, they would have, uh, if they would have blocked, we would have just won the game. So that worked out. Interesting game there, not going to lie. Bringing it back, forced him to go for it. Obviously, Moria, the Moria Frankie recycle kept him in the game, though. That was lucky for them. This, uh, again, this card isn't in the game. Black is like not relevant at all. The fact that uh, just one card can make any deck with uh, black just one of the best in the game is crazy. And RP Long is banned. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good showing for us with uh, you know a little a little different build with uh, with Shanks.